So, I'm going to be hiding my dreadlocks off. Hang for eight years. Can't see what can come. Uh, that's a lot of bloody dread. Yeah. So, my hair's a mess. <laughs> Ever since I decided to cut them off, I haven't done anything with my hair. It's all like matted at the top and everything, so they just need to go. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, thanks to everyone who donated um, to. Jesus Christ. Thanks to everyone who donated to my charity. It's really good. Launchpad. Do a lot of amazing things. This is one of my skinny dreads. I've got a couple of them. They're not very good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a bloody great call, so thanks to everyone and for all your support. So here we are. Crunch, crunch, crunch. There we are. <laughs> I'm going to keep them in a box or something. That would be cool. Yeah, um, yeah so I'm going to chop them and then... Use the, uh, what do you want to call it? Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Grilka. That's my cat. Wondering where I am. Well, how dare you be in the bathroom by yourself? How dare you don't pay attention to me all the time? <laughs> all right, here we go. I haven't had short hair in a long time. I mean, I have had short hair before, so that's cool. But um, a lot of people ask me about, you know, if I'd ever cut my dreadlocks off. And you know how it is when you first get me, you're like, no, I'm going to keep it forever. I'm going to grow them down to the floor. It'll be amazing. Um, <laughs> when I got them, I was kind of ignorant about issues surrounding that's a big father <laughs> issues surrounding cultural appropriation things um so I kind of went into the mini and so I was kind of like oh, I don't want to look like a witch you know it's a magical witch being who lives in the woods you know and it's I only post that that I really understood what people were saying do you know what I mean so, I'm have to comb that out. So, uh, yeah, I kind of, I don't regret getting them. At all. Um, as I said, I went into them with ignorance. Uh, and learned a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things I probably wouldn't have considered or even thought about before I got them done, you know, so I didn't regret them, they were good fun. Oh god, what's all this crap? <laughs> it's on my hair, ugh. Um, so yeah, they were a good laugh. My head's going to feel so weird <laughs> without my locks. Yeah, I'm going to do my whole hair. I'm going to do like, I'm going to go for some like black and blue kind of like Vulcan kind of look. I've wanted to have that haircut for so long. So I thought, hmm, now's a good opportunity. I've got so much bloody hair. Look how thick it is. So much hair. Satisfying crunch in there. Yeah, I was worried I was gonna cry and freak out, but I don't want to be one of these people that cries over my hair. Do you get what I mean? Because part of having dreadlocks as well is kind of like, you know, not worrying about your hair and stuff like that. 
Because ultimately, you will not your hair. And yeah, I've done some stupid stuff to it. I used to have a mohawk, I've had half an eight on Bob, I had all the colours, I had my dreadlocks pink and red at one point, that was pretty crazy. Now this is, this is a big old dreadlock, look at that. It's a monster. Yeah, I was pretty proud of them, I mean, I'm glad I never got them overdone. Look at that, look at all these loose hairs as well, like, you can tell I haven't been in the car. Um, yeah, I was pretty proud of them to be honest, because like, I never overdid them and stuff like that, so they always looked blobby and natural, and that was really cool. See, eight years and this, this video is six and a half minutes at the moment, so it's amazing. Like, eight years of patience and then one fail swoop, gone. Amazing. My head's already started to, oh fuck, my head's already started to be lighter. Oh, my back! <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to leave my hair this long, I'm going to buzz it. But I just want to give myself enough leeway to do that. Yeah, I went over, like, I'm just talking mad and stuff now. I went over my goal for my charity fundraising. So, thank you, everyone. <laughs> I didn't realise how many people wanted to see my hair lopped off. <laughs> No, I suppose it is pretty fun. Because there are people, eight years, there are people who never seen me without dreadlocks. Yeah, which is pretty intense. She's in my neck, jeez. <laughs> I will miss them, but I can keep them. You know? And the hair grows. I can grow my hair back. <laughs> I think I only had about 13 of these. Yeah, I was going to wait till the 10th of March, but once I've decided to do something, I'll have to do it. I'll talk myself out of it. I've been like, no, I can't get rid of them. But, I hope I'll, 
was going to do a good one of you to do a fast as well. I was going to have a little party or whatever, but then I was like, no, this is just something I have to just do for myself, to be honest. Get dreads, like, I'm pretty impressed, considering, like, you see, like, I'm pretty straight hair. So yeah, if you do get them, don't, don't mess with them, just let them be, they, they can't bear that way. I did them, I think the first like six months I had them, I was like, oh, I'm going to crochet them, and I did all this stuff, and it just looked like something, it looked like rope, like, not as in like, in a cool way, but in like, it'd been braided, like, into rope. I didn't like that look, the natural look of them, it was much better. Well, we've only got two left. Exciting though. And here's the last one. Jesus. See, so it's all matted up down to my scalp and stuff. I haven't, ever since I've decided I was going to cut them off, I've just let my hair go to craziness. So anyway. pretty crazy right now but that can be fixed <laughs> I keep using this camera to like look at what I'm doing probably should use a mirror yeah I'm just trying to get the many bits out of it so I'm gonna take the thing with you clippers to it I'm gonna cut my fringe as well Something a lot like oh, shorter. I'm gonna keep them. I like my side block. But, um, Jesus. I need a fatter comb. <laughs> Some people can't let dread all it's just like, oh, it's so clean. Uh, clearly, I'm a dirty fucker. <laughs> Looking pretty crazy. Oh, my scalp. I haven't touched my scalp in years. Feels crazy. Come nicely. I'm not gonna say fucking and just take it and the clippers do it. Oh, I know, pissy cat. Oh, I know. People were saying, oh, you can comb them out. I'm like, look at all this. Will you be wanting to comb that out of your head? I think not. I definitely would not. That is just not me. <laughs> I'd rather just go for the intense route out, to be honest. Right. I'll just take the clippers to this. Make sure they 
shame my side looks so. So much hair. I bet mean, this light runs out of battery because I'm throwing even like halfway through, which would be uh, good. Not liking that, is it? Sorry, I'm a bit less crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so after this, I'm gonna trim my fringe off and my side locks up. Um, quite short. A bit black, a bit blue in it. It'll be pretty. It's my natural color here. <laughs> I'm just so like, hmm, lovely and neat, and it's like, 